Hi, welcome back to my channel, it's Viola and it's 2017. So to kick off the year, I really wanted my first video to be a hair update slash hair recap and I'm gonna be kind of just looking through on like my pictures and stuff like that to kind of see how my hair progressed throughout the whole of 2016 so that it will really help me to know like how much my hair does grow and help me to set a goal for what I want my hair to do during 2017. Um, so if I scroll back, uh, just looking on my YouTube channel actually, to a year ago, here we go. So I've got a video on my channel last year which was a relaxed hair update video, January 2016. I still had the bleached um, blonde in my hair. It looks like there's a lot of my hair that's covered in this um, in this bleach. Oh my god. Uh, but it definitely is all through the underneath of my hair now. We're in 2017. You can see I've grown all of that out. That was one of my main goals for last year is to grow out the bleach parts of my hair. By growing out all of that bleach section which is at least this much, then that's kind of quite a few inches of hair. I'll move on to another video, just to have another look. And this video is another one from January. And I've got my hair... I've got my hair straight at the beginning of this video, so this is quite a good comparison. It's pretty much, I'd say, the same length or maybe even a bit longer. I think it's the same length but just a bit more full a bit fuller at the ends. It's still got a little bit more to go with these hairs here to grow out. But a little bit fuller at the ends. Um yeah, so this is a really good comparison. I'm really um I guess you don't really notice your hair what it's doing every day, but kind of looking back and then looking at this pretty pleased okay so midway through the year in July I made a video how often I wash my relaxed hair um, and I'm wearing it quite straight in this video so by this point in the year quite a lot of the blonde had already grown up just halfway through the year it looks it looks a little bit longer than it is now I think it's before I had a before I had a trim November this is before the cold the cold hit and my hair is just looking so nice in November so after that little recap and kind of seeing that I was able to grow I think about this much hair last year that like if you translated that imagine how long my hair could be it'll be down to my waist but I really don't think that's realistic um, for this year, what I really want to focus on is carrying on, getting those trims in, evening out the layers that I have in my hair, and I think I want to set a goal for my hair to be, um, at the moment, so before I set the goal, I guess it would be interesting to see, um, how long my hair is. So this is my bra strap here. My hair is longer than bra strap length, but I still have a little bit of a of a damage in the middle of my hair, just from where my hair was bleached and stuff like that. So you can maybe see it's not quite as thick in the middle. Plus, I always I always pull my hair over my shoulders. So one of my goals for this year is to really just even out the ends of my hair. I kind of want to finish the year with my hair about this long but just fuller at the ends um, obviously that's when it's straight then so I want when I curl my hair for it to be sitting where it is now so I just need that little bit of extra length so then when I put the waves through it doesn't shrink up quite as much as it is at the moment half my hair is literally pinned up and I'm so happy with how that is looking now so you can um, it's really really coming along like the underside of my hair you can see it's just a little bit thin just in that centre point but considering that's the underside 
that was bleached and it's all grown out. Um, yeah, just kind of thicken up that bottom, that bottom section right here. But it is longer, that bottom section is longer than bra strap length. Still. So, we're all good. So this is my hair, how I usually wear it, just with those curls at the ends to finish it off. So, definitely this year, my goal is for my hair just to continue to get thicker and fuller in the ends of my hair and I'm going to try really hard not to reach for the bleach. I, the other day I was even contemplating going back and getting like um, the underside of my hair dyed again or getting some sort of highlights or something like that and I really had to talk myself out of it. So if you are thinking of doing anything crazy with your hair this year, comment below. Um, and comment below what your hair goals for 2017 are, whether that is to grow your hair longer, to try more styles out, to protective style, to transition, to get rid of like dead ends or anything like that. Um, it'd be really great to know and then we can all support each other on our hair journeys for 2017. I really think that this is unless I do something really stupid, this could be a really good year for my hair considering I'm not trying to, I'm starting in a really good place I think. I'm, my hair's quite long, I haven't got any real problems, my scalp's good, don't have any breakage, don't have any bleach in there, so fingers crossed. Um, yeah, let me know your 2017 goals. And if you're not already, subscribe to my channel and comment any video ideas or anything that you'd want. I also filmed today um, kind of my everyday makeup look, what I'm wearing now. So if that is something that you'd like to see, let me know below. Thanks for watching. Bye.